Ladies and gentlemen, taking a look at Breath Edge, an open world survival game that was released a couple weeks ago. It's no doubt going to be compared to Subnautica in space, which is fair enough that that is what it, it appears to be in through Subnautica. This is how I discovered that Breath Edge is a thing. But in preparation for it being like Subnautica, I avoided any and all information regarding it and wanted to play it when it was released, which again, it, it came out a couple weeks ago, so here we are. I don't know anything about it, that being said. I only know that it is an open world survival type thing. There is a man with a chicken on the cover in space, which I'm not sure if that's a reference to Lost in Space, a, uh, I think a Netflix series or so. Um, not sure if there's many tie-ins with that or references to that, or if that's just a gameplay mechanic and it's a coincidence. Not really sure, no idea. We'll find out. I'm also not really sure if I keep this as a quick look type thing or if I do a full on playthrough of it. It really just depends how I feel about it and what it's like. I could really go for another open world survival though. I'm, I'm kind of in the mood for that. I've got Seven Days to Die going on and also Valheim streaming both of those. So having Breath Edge as like a recorded let's play type thing would be quite a nice mix. Name of the game, Breath Edge. That is indeed the name of the game. However, I'm going to change this up. We're going to call this Path of Exile is what I'm currently playing. Standard game mode. The best game mode is a moderate one. Alternatively, there is story. Emphasis on storyline, infinite parameters, but death is still possible. Achievements disabled. Impossible. Permadeath. No hints. No point in wasting your time with this one. Interesting. No restrictions or deaths. Everything is available. The storyline and achievements are disabled. Just a free play type thing, an easy going type thing, impossible for the try hard clickbait, and then standard. Weird order to have this in. Really strange, but I guess we'll go with standard. And uh, I can't skip intro, but I am interested, so we'll go along with it. Very self-deprecating humor thus far. The Red Ruin Softworks team is categorically against smoking, which causes loud headlines in newspapers and other diseases, and therefore we suggest that you replace this dangerous cigarette and the robot's claw for something more useful. Yay censorship or no, let him smoke. A cool thing, but I don't like the way you've worded that. Because I, I like to usually avoid cigars and cigarettes in games because a lot of people are trying to kick that habit. Because it is life-threatening and will eventually kill you. And it's it's not really a cool thing to have thrust in your face all the time when you're trying to drop the addiction. Characters smoking in film and also TV and games and all that stuff has been on a bit of a downfall because, yeah, it is it is negatively looked at because you're kind of offhandedly encouraging people to smoke that way, or at least reminding them of smoking. This isn't really paused, is it? I see your claw shimmering there. Um, So typically I, I avoid it, but I also don't want this to turn into just like a big pixelated blur or like a massive marijuana joint. Uh, I would probably guess this turns into a massive marijuana joint. I don't know. I'm a little bit afraid of what you're going to censor it with, so I will say no, let him smoke. And apologies to those of you who are trying to kick the habit of cigarette smoking. I encourage you to perhaps chew gum or suck on a hard candy or so. It helps a bit. Here you are again. Did you have time to think of how to behave during the interrogation? Remind him, R2-D3. You tell us all you know from the beginning. No lie. Confirm? Put on a defiant expression and spit in the face of this piece of iron. You tell us all from the beginning or violence. 
You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm. But the... the what? Spitting was a lousy idea, we agree. You'd better tell your story first, you can still have your defined expression. Yeah, sure, let's get a move on with it. It's really throwing, really trying to throw humor at you right away in it, man. Wasn't expecting that at all. Like, fine, cool, fair enough, but jeez. <laughs> so I wasn't sure if this is a serious tone or not, the game. Clearly not. So, we collided with just asteroids? Me. Logo was impossible. Could not see the shuttle from space. Tell truth, no lie. Confirm. Continue your definitely unbellished story. Okay, yeah, fine, fair enough. I see what you're doing. Would have been better if you had the uh, this dude narrating over the uh, the breath edge logos up, and then he's like, no lie, and then it cuts to this with you being hit, or something like that. Would have been a lot better, because that just looked like it's just a terrible cut. Okay, tell him. So, like, we're just ramming through an asteroid field, and then, uh, we hit one a bit too big, then? Because it looked like there was, like, a whole station or something wrapped up in there. I don't know how big our ship was if we're just traveling to a funeral. Greetings. I'm your funerary spacesuit's built-in guide to the world of space funerals. Before we start communicating further, confirm that you are still able to read after the impact. Middle mouse button for flashlight. That's a new one. Honestly. I'm used to flashlight being weird buttons, but middle mouse button? Okay. I mean, I guess if F is fly, then sure. Alright. Alright. You've gotten into a non-standard situation. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may cause the loss when picking up any useful items. You can stuff them in your pockets, calling it an inventory, if you will. Tab for inventory. Oh, I just wanted to step forward. Uh, stabilize. Some gas leakage detected. Doors are locked. Okay. Ah, radio off. Nice. It's like some CS Italy stuff going on there. Alright. Uh, plug it. With the- no, with the- I thought with the gum that we picked up. To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. Okay. Uh, Pick up the chewing gum from your pocket. Yeah. You to get your funerary space or... suit sticky while holding the chewing Oops. gum in your hand. Stay oh god. Except for your face. Yeah, I could just press one. Cool. You deserve some words of encouragement. That's impressive. You've almost won. We're winning, guys. We're doing it. The funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. Wow. Well, this is a, a nice view. radiation is detected. Probably this is the central core of the liner. Be careful. The radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. Ah, and there's the music kicking in. I was going to say they really missed a note, uh, not having some sort of a Wonderman song playing as, you, uh, as the door opens and you see everything here, just all the wreckage and areas to go and places to do and and things to check out. I am being drawn a little bit kind of everywhere, though. Uh, thankfully, it is pretty much just go that way a bit. Though there is something down below, maybe also something behind? Yeah, kind of a little bit. All right, sure. 
Okay. A lot of wonderment. Very pretty. It's, uh, that's really nice looking. Oh god. Breath meter. Uh. Quick! Inside! Yeah, 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 yeah. My god. Interphone, finally interphone, or get depressed. I'm gonna get a little bit depressed and do a little bit of exploring and stuff. Processor for crafting, I assume. Yeah, seems to be. We don't really know anything. Better space suits and stuff, though, for some radiation protection. Blast lead paint, plastic, aluminium, fabric. Okay, sure. Okay, where's the radio? The song's already irritating. Ah, uh, God. <sighs> I'll leave the light off. The disposal for a minute. system is damaged and is operating in reverse mode. The toilet can suck objects flying past the shuttle when the tanks are full. Press F to relieve yourself. Wasn't F fly? Oh, I get it. F is because like this is this is my fly. Do you get it? Does that even work in? <laughs> does does that only work in English? My pants zipper. Okay. Yeah, sure. So we can just piss whenever we want, and that doesn't... Does this do anything for me, or...? Okay. It's like, look, I already rebound one of the controls. I'm gonna go ahead and make flashlight F, if you don't mind. There we go. We can have... We can have fly on the middle mouse button, how about those? So I can still... I can still have a little bit of a whiz whenever, yeah? We can still do that. That's okay. That's fine. But now I've got F for flashlight, but I don't think I have a flashlight. There's also a blueprint here. Drill blueprint. Grandpa's garage was full of such blueprints. With them, even a hamster could assemble a tiny helicopter for itself if it had the will and a Phillips head screwdriver. Amazing. Uh, we'll take that. When you discover a new blueprint of an item, it is automatically added to the memory of a processor in the kitchen, where you can create this item using the necessary resources, probably. Narrator talks a bit fast. I'm assuming that's trying to get some comedic effect. They'll do a lot of things where he's quickly saying some long, complicated words, just like nonchalantly off the cuff, and it's like, oh, wow. But, uh... Would be rough if, <laughs> if English isn't your first language. Uh, works on one battery, although it would still work without. Able to make holes in things that shouldn't have holes. Refined metal, battery, thick electrical tape. Right. So we need stuff, which I'm assuming we get out there, because, I mean, well, you saw. A back scratcher, beloved back scratcher with a nipple gripper. Extremely popular among astronauts. Starting with this, you can create an excellent tool for grabbing something else. Three durability. I'll put it on one. A bit of fabric. A bit of rubber. I'm not asking. And rest is not required. And then container for storing stuff. Okay. Aw, Ketten. Nah. No, oh, it is a cute kid. Harry the cat was my first and last pet. He was a proud and a good one. Even the chicken respected him, I guess. At least she attacked me more than him. Inferring the chicken's not a pet. We'll leave it. Little man. I have always been good looking, although my beard was not as thick in my childhood. By the age of three, it got better. The chicken was passed on in our family from generation to generation, but she loved Grandpa even more than worms, I think, and Grandpa always returned the affection. Okay, so it... It, like, is but isn't your pet then, I guess, technically? I don't know. Maybe that's also a joke? I'm not sure. Our home number. I can't reach it, of course. Well, and there's no one to call unless I say hello to the cockroaches. Well, I mean, why not, you know? Okay, a lot of just 
stuffing things, setting some sort of a, uh, a humor thing. A cigarette butt. Smoking can kill you. Smoking in space can kill you even faster. But few people are stopped by such a trifle as an oxygen explosion. Grandpa smoked his whole life, but only in his spacesuit, where he configured some special mode of filtration and air supply. Okay. Um, leave it, I guess. A humorous survival guide recorded by one of Grandpa's friends. They even cut some shots out from some movie and put it there. I don't think that such advice can be useful, but to be honest, the situation is somehow strangely similar to mine. There's even a chicken there. Like a guide or something like that, then basically. I'll take a look at it. <laughs> to pee or not to pee? I can't actually crouch. Oh, God, screw this. Ugh, get me in there! Well, hey, building looks nice, I guess. Okay. We're good? We're good. Yeah, we're good. Uh... Off, I guess. Okay. And building looks like you just kind of just like, blam, throw it down. Nice. Also a cigarette and a box of cigarettes. And then some newspaper. Okay, let's let's move on with it, I think, yeah? Yeah. Interphone. Just the antenna. You'll have to go into outer space. Okay. Ah. Tenna. There's also stuff to pick up, it looks like. The metal, some goo, I think that was. I need a handy scrapper to break that. A radio of some form. That was a close call. Try to adjust the antenna very carefully. Oh, we're gonna like fucking drop kick it or something, right? Give it the people's elbow and it breaks off and then we get we get teased a little bit. You've got great engineering skills. Oh, uh, You've broken the antenna completely. Uh, 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 now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes, which are encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel, if it's still intact. Be careful with the vacuum breakdowns. An electric shock of such power can lead to the failure of my systems, and I can't guarantee the safety of your corpse before the arrival of the funeral team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm coming back. Got a lot of stuff out there. So established communications, this isn't a door outside again, I think. Or do you mean this? No. Okay. So what all did I get? We got nutritious goo. Green thick and flows from the nose. Metal. Uh, and some ice. Nutritious goo and ice for a nutrition package. Ice for the water. Can make a... Oh yeah, the drill blueprint that we got. Refined metal battery, thick electrical tape. So I don't need to like... Do anything with you? Oops. Okay. I guess it's fine. And the grabber. Refined metal, battery, wire, aluminium. 
But I don't actually need the back stretcher for it? Okay. Fabric tape. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Stuff. We need stuff. It looks like the steering wheel. You need to try to connect to it. Great news! Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the Interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the Interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current skills. Well, I did mention the narrator doing that. Just speaking quickly and saying some longer words to give you a sense of wonderment and all that stuff. It's, it's got a couple different types of humor. <clears throat> but uh, too much of it. Too Bro, much of all the humor. To become it's it's constant. It's nonstop, which means that it loses some of its luster. A little bit of it is trying to be non sequitur, but non sequitur humor works best when everything else is generally normal, so it can be non sequitur. Uh, when everything is random as hell, nothing is random anymore, because random becomes the new norm, and this this is kind of sort of doing that. It's it's too much. It'd, it'd be better spaced. Pace yourself. Slow it down. It's okay. Cryptographic debugging station. Two metal and a wire. And a wire. Uh. No idea. Maybe just something that we pick up and loot. Excellent insulation, easily melted into a useless puddle. Thinking maybe I could make a wire or something like that. Grandpa loved to give young girls a ride on his rocket, so this is why his colleagues gave him this mug and the title of Chief Womanizer. Unfairly, because Grandpa only gave them rides, and only on his rocket, but he still kept the mug and always laughed at it. The handle is there. All right. <laughs> Fine. I'll, uh, I guess I'll take that. Why not? I go faster when I don't stabilize. Like, a lot faster. Six meters per second, it looks like, if I don't stabilize, but while stabilized, everything is, like, really responsive, but... Of some nearby cooling gel. It's microscopic half the speed. Can settle in the glass of the spacesuit, forming some beautiful frost work, which can lead to visibility deterioration. Okay. Does it kill me, though? I understand that such an image can horrify you, but put your mind at ease. You will need to pay only half the cost of a damaged spacesuit in such a situation. The Breath Edge Agency is proud of its loyal attitude towards clients. Well, that guy's dead. <laughs> Rip them. Oh, a lot of ice around there. Oops. It's a wire. Uh, somewhere in wreckage, surely there'd be wires like sticking out like that that I could rip off, yeah? You'd think? Like over here, maybe? Plastic. Okay, I guess so. Judging by the primary analysis of the destruction, most of the passengers of the liner died. This might be the biggest catastrophe in the history of astronautics, the reasons for which are yet to be clarified. Food, food, water, water, water. Oh yeah, wiring. Okay, like really super frayed copper wiring. Need a scanner for that. A lot of stuff to break as well. Like a lot of stuff to break. And corpses to mess around with. Okay, you're coming with me. A standard coffin at the Global Funeral Agency. The opening of the coffin will be considered an offense and an act of vandalism. But no one will judge you if you die. I'm going. Only really not a whole lot of oxygen, like at all. Eh. Eh. 
ish kind of sort of how about the bathroom there you go why are you it it fills up i guess Fabric. Yellowish water. Well, I'm getting thirsty doing this. Rubber yellowish water. Made from ordinary water using alkalization through the kidneys. Huh. Okay. So we're just like... We're spawning shit, basically, I guess. But yeah, just, uh... <clears throat> really... First aid kit. Oh. Really drains the whole drink and eat type thing. Which, sure, I'll drink it. I mean, look how much ice we've got. We can make so much, uh... So much more water, you know? Install. Oh, look at that. Oh wait, didn't I drink that? Left click to use. I did right click. So, uh, no, I got the wire. We can make the thing. Wherever that was. You know that. Cryptographic debugging station. Most sophisticated professional equipment for distributing streaming information with cryptographic encryption over internal software networks. What a mouthful. Looks like a weird tape player thing. If you're sure that this is exactly what was on the blueprint, then try to reconfigure the receiver. If you have any doubts concerning it, then you will eventually suffer an electric shock, and then your spacesuit will automatically take your body measurements to order a coffin from our company. Thank you for choosing the Global Funeral Agency. Rescue shuttle Hope been sent from the nearest evacuation the point. Time exceeds your estimated lifespan by 4,369 years. You need to get Oof. to the extraction point yourself, getting past the radiation. However, it's impossible to do this with your current skills. To increase your level, you need to create some crap imposed by the developers. Yeah, okay. Sure, create the crap imposed by developers and put it in your hands. Sure, uh, handy scrapper. Oh, uh... That one's gone now, but sure. Yeah, I, I need that for breaking stuff open. There are some uh, boxes and stuff to to rip open. And that had durability? 35 durability. Is that a lot? I don't know. Stations. Crap imposed by the... It, it literally, it, it's actually some crap imposed by the developers. Two refined metal wire thick electrical tape. Refined metal. Well, tape I can make now. And then just, yeah, more metal... Okay, so this is teaching us how to make uh, more complicated stuff. Making things using things that you make, or so. Want to open the cases first. It wasn't possible to determine the coordinates of the survivor. Communication only works on reception, which gives a good reason not to respond and not to be distracted, despite the objections of the hormonal system. Okay, durability is like one hit per. Couple batteries, metal, random, random God knows what stuff. 